well, this has turned out to be a celebration rally, um, but originally we were going to rally around to sort of help, help with our strike, but last week we came to a negotiation deal with um, Sodexo and the Trust, um, so it's now a celebration. We've got Agenda for Change, which is fair pay for all the Sodexo workers that are working there. And for me, myself, that means that, you know, that with, with my mortgage and bills to pay, and I know a lot of people that I work with, you know, we can um, relax a little bit now that if we are ill and can't go into work because we are unhealthy, that we are able to eat and pay our bills as well. So we started last week on the industrial action. The picket lines opened at five o'clock in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning, that's when the snow started falling in Barnstable. So great start to the picket line was you know, the snow falling down. And on that first day, again, the sign of the unity, the sign of the organising strength of those Sodexo members is there was over 100 Unison members out on the picket line supporting the strike. And, you know, we're here today, we've got Agenda for Change, we've got over 200 Unison members in the Sodexo contract in North Devon Health, we've now got seven Unison stewards, we started off with one. So, I mean, I think it is a big thank you. It's the Sodexo staff themselves, they've gone out there, they've organised, they've joined the union, and it's they who have achieved a gender for change, and I think it's a big thank you to them for that success. No. Thank you. I took it upon myself to visit a few pubs, purely for research purposes, <laughs> and talking to locals, there was clearly a lot of people in this community felt strongly about what was happening up at the hospital, about local people being denied their entitlement to decent wages, denied their entitlement to sick pay, which wasn't just about people's income, but it was about health and safety and patient safety in the hospital. So I really want to congratulate the whole community in the way they rallied behind you. The very, very famous doctor who um, set up missionary hospitals in Africa, Dr. Albert Schweitzer, who I'm sure you will all have heard of, he said that it is not very difficult to run a hospital without managers. I have done it many times. <laughs> what is very difficult to do is to run a hospital without the people who actually work in it. Well, it's a tremendous day, it's a tremendous day for Unison and for our members. We've been battling for many, many years to make sure that when private companies take over health contracts, then the workers in those private companies get decent pay, decent conditions, and are treated the same as the health workers themselves. And this week we've reached an agreement with Sodexo, which gives them that dignity, that respect that we've been looking for and the rates of pay which apply to the health workers themselves. So it's a great day, a tremendous day. When the union's inspiration through the workers' blood shall run There can be no power greater anywhere beneath the sun Yet what force on earth is weaker than the feeble strength of one For the union makes us strong Solidarity forever, solidarity forever, solidarity forever.